Hi, I'm Nancy Balter, founder of Nancy B's Science Club. Thank you for purchasing a Moonscope. We know that you and your family will enjoy observing the nighttime sky and completing the activities in your SkyGazer's activity journal. This video is intended to walk you through the simple Moonscope setup process and show you how to use your Moonscope properly. This will only take a few minutes. First, take everything out of the box. We have a tripod, a Moonscope, two eyepieces and a moon filter, and a journal. Now we're going to open up the tabletop tripod like this, place it on a sturdy table. Now take the moon scope, loosen the screw, and remove it. Mount the moon scope on the tripod so the two holes on the moon scope line up with the one on the tripod, insert the screw, and tighten. Next, remove the lens cap from the front of the moon scope. A lot of people forget to do this. And remove the cap protecting the diagonal mirror on the back of the moon scope. Now find the 20 millimeter eyepiece. It's the larger of the two included in the bag and is marked on top. You always want to start with the 20 millimeter eyepiece. It's a lower power eyepiece than the smaller four millimeter eyepiece that's included, but it provides a wider field of view, which makes it easier to find the object you want to magnify. Remove both caps from your 20 millimeter eyepiece and insert it in the spot above the diagonal mirror on your moon scope. Now we're ready to use the moon scope. It's best to practice during the day, focusing on something like a distant tree or rooftop. When you're ready to move to nighttime viewing, remember that telescopes only work on clear nights. You won't see anything when it's cloudy. In either case, you'll always start with the 20 millimeter eyepiece and use the finder scope to locate your object, in this case, the top of a tree. First, loosen the altitude and azimuth lock knobs. Loosening the altitude lock knob permits the moon scope to go up and down. Loosening the azimuth lock knob permits the moon scope to go side to side. Now, place your eye two to three inches away from the finder scope and take a look. Move the moon scope until you've centered your object in the crosshairs, then tighten the knob. Here's a hint. If you're using your moon scope at night, shine a flashlight on your finder scope for a few seconds. A ring will glow around your finder scope to make it easier to locate in the dark. Next, look through the eyepiece, not the finder scope, and turn the focus knobs until your object becomes clear. When you're ready for more magnification, switch to the smaller four millimeter eyepiece. Just remove the caps, and swap it with the 20 millimeter. This eyepiece magnifies your object 90 times and gives you amazing detail. But remember, always start with the 20 millimeter. It is important to note that you will frequently need to adjust your moon scope to keep your object in view. This is because the Earth is continually moving and moving your night sky object out of your field of view. OK, you're ready to explore. The moon scope is the perfect tool for viewing the moon and planets like Jupiter and Saturn. If you're viewing a full moon, pop the moon filter onto the back of the eyepiece before inserting it into the moon scope. The moon filter will cut some of the moon's brightness so you can see the details more clearly. That's it. I wish you the best of luck and clear nighttime skies.